Hi, and welcome to LB0 Fox India Norwegian Ham Ventures. What you see here is not the typical ham radio product. I am well aware of that, but hang on. Um, I'm going to explain why in just a little bit, and then we're going to take a look if this is usable for ham radio. Because a couple of months ago, Newbie reached out to me and asked if I wanted to test out one of their new Bluetooth headsets. And that's not unusual. I got a lot of emails with products that are, that are more or less ham adjacent to test out. And I usually say no. And I actually said no this time as well. But I said, I can see that you have a stereo headset with a boom mic that would be nice to use with my flex radio. Could I have one of those? And then they said, yes, you can. But we need you to test the M51 as well. Well, if we fast forward a couple of months to yesterday, I got a package in the mail. We got this M51 Bluetooth headset, this M51 Bluetooth headset, but I didn't get the uh, the wired stereo headset with a boom mic that I thought I could use with my flex radio. Enough about that, though. Um, that might or might not be fixed at a later time. But what they wanted me to do, and I'm just going to remove one of these here now. They wanted me to take a look at this Bluetooth headset here uh, and see if it was usable for ham radio. And I thought, well, I still have the IC705 on loan, so why not give it a go with the 705? So that's what I'm going to do now. Um, first of all, I'm going to show you how to pair this headset with the 705. And finally, I'm going to conclude on why you shouldn't get this for, for your ham radio at all. Uh, so I pretty much said most of it now, but I'm, I'm going to go more into depth. So please hang on. And I'm not going to do the unboxing because what you get is this little case here. You get the headset and this is a charging case. It charges via USB-C here. Shows you the battery percentage when you flip it open. And you can just take the headset out here. And first of all, I got to say that both the headset and the case has a premium feel to it. It feels actually pretty expensive. I got to admit, I cannot remember the exact cost of this at the moment, but um, I'll put it over the screen here so you can see what it is on the newbie website. So let's go ahead and pair this with the 705. And here we are with the 705. And let's see if we can pair the Bluetooth here just to set it up. So I'm going to press the menu button here. Uh, go to the settings menu, Bluetooth settings. And we're going to go to pairing connect. Device search, search headset. Let's see if it pops up here. Press connect. And we're connected. That's how easy it is to connect it. Um, so I'm going to remove the 705 now. And we're going to talk about why you shouldn't consider this headset for your radio. So I just removed the uh, radio here because it's not the radio we're going to talk about. The radio, by the way, is on loan from Christek, my favorite Norwegian ham radio dealer. And I've been testing this for a couple of months now, and I'm soon going to do a long time review on that radio. But back to the headset here. As I said, it has a premium look and feel to it. Uh, it pairs easily with the radio. And that's where the good things end, though. First of all, there's something about the shape here that doesn't make it fit properly around my ear. But that's not the worst thing, though. The worst thing is that the audio from this device is low and distorted. Okay, I'm going to repeat that. It's low on volume and it's distorted audio. 
I mean, I guess audio is probably one of the reasons why you would choose a Bluetooth headset like this. And this one does not pass the test. But I figured, okay, it might be the IC705. So I paired it up with my iPhone here. And that didn't help. Audio was still low and distorted. It was actually distorted to a point where I couldn't properly pick up the other side of the phone call. So newbie, you got to do better than this. This is not only a good headset for ham radio. I can understand that you're trying to get into the ham radio market, but it's, it's just not a good headset. I'm sorry. Don't buy this. So there, I guess there's one thing left to do though. I'm going to get my garbage can here. Like that. Because, sorry guys, don't get this headset. As simple as that. So, don't have anything to all else to say about it. Um, it just failed the initial tests of sound quality. Um, so I'm not going to dig any deeper into it. It's just bad. Simply as that. So, thank you for watching this video. If you liked the video, please click that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below. And um, there's a couple of options down below if you want to support the channel a little bit more. And 73, guys. See you down the bands and see you in my next video.